2.11 Solution of Linear and Quadratic Equations This is part of my ultimate revision guide to further maths GCSE in the algebra section. Um, if you want to go back to the algebra index click on this button here on YouTube and it should take you back to the index for algebra. And down here is any practice questions that I might have done from exam papers. Okay, um, now this is very similar to the GCSE type of question where you actually have to form an equation and solve it. Um, it could be a linear equation or it could be a quadratic. Um, but usually you've got some context that you have to, to make, make use of. So here we have a length and width and an area. So we know length times width is an area of a rectangle. So we've got to form an equation and solve it to find the perimeter. So we need to find what x is, then we can find the length, and then we can add them all together to get the perimeter. So essentially we've got to solve this equation. We've got 2x plus 1 times x plus 7 equals 444. Four, four. Okay, so we need to multiply it. We need to get this into a quadratic form, so we need to get this over to here. So we need to multiply all this out, so we get 2x squared plus x plus 14x is plus 15x. And then we need to add the 7, and that's equal to the 444. Four, four. Take this over to here, so we get 2x squared plus 15x minus 437 equals 0 and that's forming the equation that's the main part of this exercise once you've got that then we're actually using another uh, technique to another topic to be able to solve this solving quadrants like this um, I would guess because this number is so high that you would be allowed to use a calculator on this and if you did um, you use the formula the minus b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a formula which you're given to work out that x would be equal to 23 over 2 or minus 19. Now often with this sort of question you're dealing with a physical quantity the negative of the solution has no meaning you can't have negative length unless these are added up and made positive numbers which they don't. So the only solution that matters is this one which is the 11 and a half solution and with 11 and a half the length of the rectangle is going to be well that's going to be 23 plus 1 is 24 and the width is going to be 11.5 plus 7 it's going to be 18.5 and, and we want to find the perimeter so we add those together to get 42.5 and, and then times that by 2 and we get 80 through 85 so the perimeter would be 85 there okay so I'm not going to go through the, using the formula for this remember this is A this is B and this is C Make sure you get your signs in the right place and you should be fine. Okay, another type of question. Length of the base of the triangle is double the length of the perpendicular height. So this is all about triangles. So base of a triangle and the height. So if the, the base is double the height, we call the height x. The base would be 2x. Then the area of the triangle is half the base. Half times 2x times the height, which is x. And that equals 150. So the half of 2x is just x, so that's just x squared equals 150. So x equals the square root of 150. And we want the base, so that's half of x, so we just need to divide that by, do you know, that's double x, sorry. So we just need to times that by 2. So we want 2 times the square root of 150. And we want that to two significant figures. So 2 times square root. 150 equals 24.94 to two significant figures that's just 24 because we chop it off there okay and then we've got one with a suitable graph drawing so we've got a, a graph that's drawn and then we're asked to find out um, uh, the solution to one less place. places it's going to be an approximate solution um, when we draw a suitable graph. So this is where we've got to add a line to this. So what we do here is we separate it out. We have what we want to get is to get this on one side and then something else on the other. And whatever that is, that's usually a straight line equation that we can then draw onto here and where they cross gives us the answer. So if we rearrange this x squared plus x minus 4 equals 0 to get it into this form. So we take all that over to this side. So we take the 4 over to the other side. And we want to take away the x squared, so x equals 4 minus x squared. So this is one graph, y equals 4 minus x squared, that's the one that's drawn. 
and this equals the other graph y equals x which is just a straight line straight diagonal line the gradient one I've pre-drawn it to make it a bit easier um, which goes through zero so there's there's our there's our y equals x line and our two solutions will be here where they cross here and here so we read that off here and we get 2.6 and the other one read that down here and we'll get 1.4 okay so that that's um, a technique to rearrange you get two graphs one either side of the equal sign one which is usually drawn for you which is the curved bit or whatever's left is the uh, other line you need to draw.